We're currently at number 10 green site. We're actually in the next phase of greens construction. It's very exciting. As you can see behind me, we have 30 mil uh, moisture barrier that has been installed around the green. There's also a wire, as you can see down at the bottom of it. This wire is to help us to locate this moisture barrier in the future. The purpose of the moisture barrier is to inhibit water from wicking from the green when it's constructed out into the surrounding soil. The clay natural material will draw the water out. This moisture barrier wasn't located here. It would take the moisture from the green, creating hot spots or warm spots along the collar. In front of me, you can see some orange paint lines and some flags. What we've actually done in this green is made a pattern, a herringbone pattern, for drainage. Every quadrant in the green, depending on slope, will have a herringbone pattern with a drain going through it. We'll have it starting in the center of the green with an outfall coming in behind me. What the crew will do next is come in with a machine to take this down about six inches deep. They'll put an inch of gravel in the bottom of it, four inch uh, drain pipe on top of that, and then stone on top of uh, the, the pipe to hold it in place. In just a moment, we'll show you the next phase, but this is the most intricate and detailed part of the process right now to ensure that we have proper drainage in the greens. As was mentioned earlier, one of the most intricate and delicate parts of greens construction is to ensure proper drainage in the green. As you can see behind me, we have an area that the drain pipe is actually being installed in the green. It's four inch schedule N12 pipe, which means it has a thicker wall in it uh, to withstand any type of machinery that might drive over the top of it. This is actually laid into the trenches that are created and then wire is placed in with the pipe in order that we can locate it in the future if there are any problems with it. As you can see, the pipe's already installed. We have stone that's going around it. We have to ensure not only that that is covered and supported, but that we have a exact four inch layer of stone that's put over top of the entire subsurface of the green. We have a tool that's indicated at a four inch depth as you see, and as the crew goes through and adds stone, they'll probe to ensure that in fact we have this four inch depth going through the bottom of the green. Once this green has the stone placed in it, the next step will be the addition of the greens mix or the sand mix material. We're back at the 10th green location. We're a couple days after completion, installation of the four inch stone layer that's in the bottom of the green. As you can see, now you can uh, uh, observe all the topography and, and sloping and change that's in this green. Everything has been installed to a four inch layer. We're now awaiting uh, the sand to put into the cavity, but before we're going to do that, there has to be irrigation installation. Irrigation isn't slated to start for another couple of weeks. The reason why we went ahead and did this, this phase of greens construction was to stabilize and manage the bottom of this green that has already been okayed to architect uh, specifications and approval. This ensures that we won't have any additional erosion in this area. Once we get the irrigation installed, we'll go ahead and put the sand in the cavity and then we'll be ready for green seeding. If you look off to my left, you're going to see an individual pipe, drain pipe that's standing up in the air near the uh, moisture barrier. That pipe ties into all the drains that are in this green. It's called a blowout. That blowout will enable us to either force air or put water through the tile system in the screen to flush it at any time. For some odd reason, it were to become contaminated. This will also give us the ability, if some day down the road we want to use a sub-air system, 
we could in these greens. What the subaired system does basically is attaching an air conditioner to your, your drain tile that's in the green and you can cool the root zone of the green with air conditioning. Uh, it's something that's been uh, started recently in the last five to eight years in golf course management. Uh, just another tool that we can look forward to in the future.